We are in between Africa and Madagascar. There is the Comor archipelago. There is a small archipelago named Mayotte. It contains the two major islands, Grande Terre and Petite Terre. And the Djanid Zaha is on Petite Terre. This lake is hosted in a volcanic crater. It's occupying the whole left after a volcanic eruption. The filling with water was probably nearly instantaneous at the geological scale. And in 2009, some of us were working in another area nearby and they came here as tourists because this is a very nice tourist attraction and they couldn't resist sampling the water. And when, once they had measured the chemistry and looked at the biology in the water, they were hooked. It is so extreme compared to other environments that they, are, they just want to know better, further, more, understand why it is like that. We are eight scientists here. Four of us are geochemists and four are biologists. The geochemist will sample water, rocks, sediments to measure their chemical composition and isotope composition. And the biologists are working on the metabolism and quantifying metabolic activities of the organisms in the lake. There is 10 times more inorganic carbon than in normal uh, seawater. We think that this carbon abundance might be the reason why there is such a high biomass. And we want to check that the carbon comes from the volcanic degassing into the lake. With the idea that maybe in the past, uh, bigger systems like op oceans opening or even Precambrian oceans may have been similar in some aspects to this lake leading to extremely high biomass and deposition of organic rich rocks, which could then be linked directly to the volcanic CO2. We will find new questions and we will want to go further into details, so it, we may want to keep working on it, but I think in four years we can get a good answer to the questions we have now.